Okay, so in this tutorial, I will be installing SQL Server 2008. And what I have in front of me is the SQL wizard that you get when you first time you run the SQL 2005 installation wizard. You click on the installation tab here, and then you click on new SQL standalone installation. And this will run some prerequisite checks. And you can view the details after the checks have run. I've already run the requisite checker and it checks the minimum operating system version, the credentials and whether or not a restart is needed etc. So I'm gonna click OK and then SQL Silver 2008 installation continues. So in this case I will be installing the evaluation version of SQL Silver 2008. So I'm going to click next. Accept the license agreements. And install the required setup support files. So the SQL setup continues. If I go to show details, we see what was done. Go next. And then here we're going to select the features that we would like to install. We, in this case, we're going to install the database engine. We're going to install reporting services, analysis services. And also we would like to have the management tools and client tools connectivity. Of course you could install whatever features you need from your SQL Silver 2008 installation. In my case I will be installing my SQL Silver on my eDrive that has adequate space. I'm going to go next and then accept the defaults for the name of the SQL instance and again I'm going to change the path to my eDrive for my particular installation so then we have the required amount of space that is necessary just over a gig on the C drive is necessary and on E drive about 800 megs is necessary so I have enough space so to fulfill that requirement so I'm going to click next and onto the server configuration next we need to enter uh, an account to use for each SQL service so I'm going to click use the same account for all, for all SQL service and in this case here I'm going to select the system account for all SQL service accounts, the local system account. And then I'm going to go next. And I'm going to select Windows Authentication Mode for the authentication type. And I'm going to leave the other sections as the defaults. And we also need to add SQL Server Administrator. I'm logged in as a domain admin, so I'll add the current user as an SQL Server admin. Go next. I'm also going to add the current user for analysis services. And then for the installation of reporting services, I'm going to accept the default native mode default configuration. I'm going to skip the error sending part and then some prerequisites again to verify that these have been fulfilled before continuing with the SQL 2008 installation. I'm 
and then a summary of all our settings that we chose for installation that you can review and then finally we click on install to install SQL Server 2008 Enterprise Edition and prior to the SQL 2008 installation I had installed IIS to allow for the reporting feature in SQL Server 2008 So I'm going to fast forward to the end of this installation. Okay, so after installation I rebooted the server machine and now I'm going to start SQL Management Studio to verify that SQL Server is installed. And on the services, we see the SQL Server service running on the Android local system account. And from here, I can connect to the SQL Server instance. Okay, so this brings us to the end of our tutorial on SQL Server 2008 installation.